Good morning everyone. I hope we are all okay and we are adjusting to life as we know it now, I suppose. A lot of us are working from home and I've been helping a lot of office workers during lunch times just getting uh, their bodies to move more, trying to get them to feel, the, take the tension out of their body because I know we're sitting down a lot and I've been doing it, we're sitting down just typing away and everything gets round and tight and you just end up getting loads of weight. So I'll show you a couple of things. It's a really, really basic one you can do at home. Don't need any weight, but you can grab something if you need to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a T. So we're gonna come forward with the hands, bring them together. So we're gonna adduct the hands, okay? Bring them in. Now we're gonna take the hands out, abduct them. And I'm gonna open up my chest. And I'm gonna squeeze the muscles between my shoulder blades. I'm gonna hold, make a nice big T position. So what I'm trying to do is still pull my stomach in. And breathe out. And then I'm gonna breathe in. And then I come forward again. So I'm gonna show you from the side. So I'll just move there. So if I breathe out and extend, I'm just literally just try and to squeeze my shoulders. And breathe in again. I'll show you one more time from the back. So Breathe out, so I'm going to squeeze the muscles behind my scapula, feel that tension there throughout, slightly down as well, so the muscles around the scapula you want to get stronger, then I breathe back again. Okay, so it's SST, so this we can do these with suspensions if you've got that at home. Um, now I'm going to go into a Y, so from there I come up, abduct, but come slightly out, and I'm going to pull. Okay, so I'm trying not to, at this point, lean back because mobility might be not great in my shoulders. One side might be tighter than the other. But what you don't want to do is start flaring those ribs and then flexing through the spine, a hyperextension. We want to pull it in and go where you can and feel the stretch. And then I'm going to come back in again. So that's your Y. All right, so you've got your T. Hold. Come back in. And then you have your Y. Why? Because I need to stretch. Okay, so out. Hold it. So they're the first two. Then you can build it up. Once you get used to those two, then you can do the other two exercises. So now when I get into that Y, and I hold it, nicely, and then I can just make, clench my fist, do that W position. So what I'm trying to do is retract shoulders, squeeze and push them down. So at the back, you can see what I'm trying to do is push shoulders back and down, and pushing my shoulder blades down towards my hips. Still keeping a nice strong core, squeezing my hips, coming down. So just doing a couple of pulses with that one. And then from there, what you can do, I'm going to an L. So we try and keep into that 90. And then I can externally rotate, keeping the elbows up. Go where you can with that. And then I can, in, sorry, internal rotation, sorry. And then I can externally rotate, come back up. So making a Mr. Muscle here, and I'm coming down. So that internal rotation. You're gonna feel slightly restricted, I can again on my shoulders. So just trying to get the scap, trying to get this joint here, so the capsule rotator cuff to move better, so I can get that whole shoulder moving more and sort of getting fixed. Okay, you can do it with weights, but it's slow and controlled. Then obviously I'll come back down again into that start position. So if you put it all together, a nice routine, a lot of strength work for shoulder mobility. So out for chest, stretch it out, retract, come in again. Into that Y, up, hold it, come back again to the start position, then go into that Y, then go into that W, push shoulders down, up, shoulders down, good, and then into that L. So we've got that internal and we've got the external. Just really trying to focus on moving my shoulders better. So getting that capsule, getting the joint moving better. And then once I finish that, back to the start. And you feel straight away when you do that size of slow, shoulders start to fatigue. That's just because the muscles are getting obviously tired. We need to get that stronger. And it's quite hard to hold that in position as well. So they're constantly under tension. So they're constantly being contracted on those, so that means they're getting stronger. Shake it out and repeat again. So it's a very, very simple one you can do at home. Do that every day or every other day. Get yourself moving around. 
as I was showing before, you know, do the neck flexion as well, just to keep strengthening, lengthening through the side of the neck, those traps, get your neck moving freely better, and then do some circulation, just moving around, get the neck moving better, then lateral flexion, side to side, and see what you've got, see what's going on. Very simple exercise, strength mobility work, that will help you when you're sitting down at home. But don't forget, we have our 28 day challenge. It is ready to go, so if you need to, move more you know you're getting fed up with obviously being stuck at home what can i do how can i move how can i interact better how can i reconnect with people this is what we're doing through our zoom we're helping you stay connected reconnect move better the new in is actually moving so you're staying in to move more that is the key let's help you let's support you contact me on my page send me a message and i'll send you more information about how we can help my my car let's have our finish have a great day everyone Stay safe. I'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.